Kane is in the building. The During the Eastern Han Dynasty around 105 AD, Kai Lan was the first person to invent paper as we know today. Before him, writing surface was made from different materials such as bamboo slip, wooden boards, and more. People find it is heavy and difficult to carry around. Because of this unsuitable writing, it motivated Kai Lan to invent a new lightweight writing surface. This new art of paper making later spread around Asia, Middle East, and Europe. The origin paper was made in Egypt, located at the Nile River in Egypt. There was a mass class called Cyperus Piparus. The efficient custom strip from the plant stem and soften them in the muddy water of the nail. Press together and dry under the sunlight, and then used for writing or drying. Piparus appeared in Egypt around 2400 BC, but none of these strips would be acknowledged as paper today. Material You will need any kind of paper, such as computer paper, newspaper, magazine toilet paper, tissue paper, or construction paper. You will also need a sponge, a wire screen which you can make from window screening and a wood frame, a plastic basin or a tub which should be large enough to totally immerse your frame, a blender or a food processor, and last but not least, liquid starch. Procedure. Step 1. Find recyclable paper. Newspaper may be the easiest source to start with, but you can also use old printouts, notes, phone books, just about any unwaxed paper product. The color of the papers you use and the amount of dark ink on them will affect the grayness of your creation. Step 2. Clean up the paper. Remove plastic, staples, and other contaminants. Step 3. Tear the paper into small pieces. A few rips per paper should be enough. If it helps, you can use shredded paper. Step 4. Soak the paper in water. Put the smaller pieces of paper in a container, such as a bowl or a cup, and cover them with water. Let them soak for 30 to 45 minutes. Step 5. Turn the paper into pulp. Pulp is a thick, goopy, slightly watery substance that will eventually become your new piece of paper. Place it all into a blender until it's about half full. Fill the blender with warm water and stir in 2 teaspoons of liquid starch into the pulp mix. The starch helps the paper fibers stick together better. Run the blender on slow at first, then increase the speed until the pulp looks smooth and well blended, approximately 30 to 40 seconds. Step 6. Fill your basin about halfway with water. The basin should be a little wider and longer than your frame and approximately the same shape. Step 7. Separate the paper from the pulp. Place the wooden frame over the basin and slowly pour the pulp mixture over the screen. Tilt the frame as needed to cover most of the screen surface. How spread out the pulp is will determine the thickness of the paper. Step 8. Remove any large clumps of paper. Try to pick out any clumps. The smoother and finer your mixture, the more uniform your end product will be. Step 9. Drip drain the screen over the basin. Wait until most of the water has drained from the pulp, and you'll see the beginnings of a new piece of paper. If the, pulp, uh, if the paper is very thick, remove some of the pulp from the top. If it is too thin, add some more pulp and stir the mixture again. Step 10. Remove excess water from the paper. Use a sponge to press out as much water as possible from the other side of the screen and periodically wring out the sponge. Step 11. Remove the paper from the screen. Once the paper is a little drier, you can lift it from the screen. You can gently press out any bubbles and loose edges at this point. Step 12. Set the paper out to dry. Take the piece of paper and lay it out to dry on a flat surface. A way you can speed up the drying process is by using your hair dryer on the low setting. The chemistry behind paper making. Have you ever noticed that when you tear paper, it isn't a clean tear? There are millions of tiny strands that make up paper. They are called fibers. Fiber cells are made mostly of the chemical cellulose and lignin. Cellulose, which is the primary structural component of cell walls and plants, is the main material in paper. Its formula is C6H10O5. The wood fibers in paper are rearranged in such a way so that they mesh and form the structure of paper. This is a physical change because the wood fibers did not create nor destroy any physical properties that the wood fibers originally had. Since cellulose is insoluble in water, this property enables it to separate itself from the pulp mixture during the process of paper making. The water molecules escape the pulp mixture through the wire screen while the cellulose fibers stay. When the water drains, the wood fibers stick together and form a small mat on the wire. 
In our experiments, we used 1,000 milliliters of water in two cups of shredded paper. The paper was initially less dense than paper because it floated on top of the water, but once it absorbed into the water, it became denser and sank to the bottom. In our experiment, we used 1,000 milliliters of water in two cups of shredded paper. The paper was initially less dense than paper because it floated on top of the water, but once it absorbed into the water, it became denser and sank to the bottom. The importance of paper to human progress and civilization. We mark each milestone in life with birth certificates, marriage license, baptism papers, and high school diplomas. Photographs, diaries, and scrapbooks preserve our memories for future generations and leave a permanent record of our time on Earth. Paper is our currency. Paper has reinvented the way we communicate and write literature. However, the negative impacts of paper making are pollution, which is the result of waste and wastewater production of paper making, as well as deforestation for the acquisition of wood. Above all else, paper creates an immediate and enduring connection between people and their past, present, and future ambitions. People tend to overlook the importance of paper, but think about it. Where would we be without paper? 